speaking from your point of view as coming from Lukasa, Zambia. Yeah, you got it right, Lusaka. Zambia. Um, how does America appear from the outside? Because when you're a fish, you don't you don't know the water. So coming from outside the fishbowl, what does what, what is the perception of America? Great. I uh, I actually talk about this extensively in my book. Uh, home away from home. Home away from home. How much was that again? Twelve dollars. It's on Amazon. Home away from home. It's a great book. Um, I talk about that extensively in the book. And Dustin, America's greatest export, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm no economist, even though I took a bunch of economics courses at UMKC, is Hollywood. It's Hollywood, it's MTV, and to some degree, it might even be some of your news channels like CNN. So the perception of the United States is formed, or is at least the painting or the image of this country is created by Hollywood. So I put, put yourself in my shoes. Young kid in Africa, loves my soccer, loved hanging out with friends, and somebody approaches me and says, hey, what do you think about going to the United States? The first thing that comes to my mind, or to, at, at least at that time, was Hollywood. I, I, I promise you, Dustin, before I stepped one foot in this place that I call home now, I assumed by coming to America, I would instantaneously become rich. And a lot of people around the world, and I'm being honest, think this. They think this is the land of endless milk and honey. I'll tell you what hasn't helped either is social media. And what do I mean by that? When immigrants, the average immigrant, and I'll speak to those at least who are from my country and in specific uh, my hometown, when we come to the United States, we have this need to show the people back at home that we're doing well, regardless of what's going on here on the ground. So whenever we post images on Facebook, on our social media pages, we're always showing what is perfect, what is best, what is happening. What we don't show, and I'm speaking, and I feel comfortable general, making this generalization, is the struggle. You know, uh, some of the racism you have to deal with, the way people stereotype you as an immigrant. Um, it's hard to find work. The immigration system, you think about the administration that we have right now in the country, that is not so welcoming to immigrants. The average immigrant won't project that image back home. We tend to only show the good side. So when people think of America, they're thinking Hollywood. In fact, they're thinking two cities, to be honest. They're thinking Los Angeles, California, and New York City. In specific to New York City, they're thinking Manhattan, where the big skyscrapers are. That's it. You might throw in Florida and Vegas. They don't know about the heart of the Midwest. They don't know about the small towns. If you explain to somebody in my hometown uh, that 40% of Americans live in poverty, they wouldn't believe it. Because from their pers perspective, they'll be like, what do you mean by poverty? Are we talking African poverty? Or, or are we talking about the fact that they have everything but just can't pay one or two bills? So there is that huge misconception. And in my book, I try to paint my reality in America for the reader back at home to understand this is not the land of endless milk and honey. There are great things happening in this country, but there are also some things that are not so great. So it's not a... So the perception from outside is the kind of the Instagram perception, which is and social media is just like the really nicely painted fence surrounding someone's yard full of dog shit. Basically. Exactly. I mean, exactly. not speaking for myself, my life is every bit as good. I mean, I assure you, and I assure you, my life is every bit as good That's as I right. pretend. I mean, it's as I project on social media, especially Instagram. <laughs> Um, I believe you, Dustin. And they do, too. <laughs> thank you.